Now we got Bigelow here. First one was a spawning session. This one he's gonna make it nice and clean. Is that his is that what he's supposed to aim at, that little stick you put in yeah, there? That stick's a target. Like, so gas it, stare at that stick. Yeah, and watch yourself because the bike might you know you never know what's gonna happen with Bigelow. <laughs> Thanks for the show, Bigelow. Thanks for the show, Bigelow. So yesterday, uh, some friends and I took the day off, and we went up uh, and rode uh, uh, an absolutely epic big loop, 50 miles uh, in probably one of the most beautiful premier uh, motorcycle trails, motor trails. Um, I, I would make, I would argue, in the world, and I'll never ever tell you where it's at. <laughs> but uh, I never intended on making a video uh, about this. I just had uh, my cell phone and just shot some, you know, things to share with with the family and and stuff. But it was so, you know, it was so entertaining, and that was with such a great group of guys uh, that I thought, oh, I'll be, uh, it would be unjust not to share this with you. So uh, I'll put together a little montage and I'll try to tell a story uh, with a few photos and the little footage that I have, but I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, and um, well, let's get started. So uh, on the left, there is uh, my friend Colby, myself, Ray in the back, uh, Eric, and of course, the crazy Bigelow <laughs> in the behind the camera. So here are some shots uh, of some of the vistas that we took. We uh, we did we, we climbed over 10,000 feet of elevation um, and did about 50, probably about 50 miles. And it was tough. It was brutal. It was one of the most uh, difficult uh, and rewarding uh, rides that I have ever done. Um, I'll never forget it, and I can't wait to go back. I woke up this morning, and every single muscle uh, in my body is sore. One of the coolest features here, you can see, this is a bridge, and it's hard to, um, you, know, the, you know, it's hard to do justice to how beautiful this was, but there's a couple guys that are retired, the older guys that are really into dirt biking, and they uh, donate all of their time um, maintaining uh, these trails. And they actually built this trail on site, and the timbers are absolutely huge. The supporting structures must be 12, or no, probably 16 by 24, maybe even 30 that they chainsaw milled out of cedar on site. And this is remote. I mean, this is 20 miles from, from anywhere. Uh, and they built this entire structure. Hauled concrete in there. The buttresses down below are all poured in concrete. It is it's just extraordinary, and I thought that was kind of a cool shot uh, to have all the bikes and, uh, you know, five two-strokes there uh, crossing that bridge, and we had a nice lunch there, and it was absolutely stunning. So we're about 20 miles into the best ride I've ever done in my life. It's just epic. Absolutely amazing. Very challenging, but look at this. I'm sorry, I'm not going to tell any of you where it's at. <laughs> the trail was uh, beautiful. You would, would drop down and, uh, you know, cross a bridge or a stream crossing and then up the other side to these amazing vistas and mountain after mountain and uh, just extraordinary. Here is uh, well, the, the ubiquitous selfie there with the mountain in the background. And, of course, you know, the photos really never show how beautiful it was, but perfect temperature, gorgeous climate you know it's such an adventure um to be out here it's so much different than uh, riding in um you know more controlled areas because you really are on your own and you really are at the mercy of uh uh well you're depending on your buddies you know it was kind of interesting colby here uh, bought this bike um second hand 
And it was a 10 year old gas gas that was, um, he got for $2,500, a two stroke 300 that was just in amazing shape. Um, he has, you know, this is not his normal bike. He bought this uh, uh, as a spare uh, for friends to, you know, to come with. And uh, it was his first time out on it. So he had had a few uh, issues. His uh, muffler fell off and uh, he had a broken brake line and some different things. But uh, that, that just, it, it attests to the resourcefulness uh, that is required on these type of rides you need to be able to uh, fix things and repair things and it's kind of a fun challenge when you're putting your kit together to try to anticipate having what you need uh, to do anything on the trail he was saying that you know they've they've repaired uh, broken cases uh, with uh, a little bit of JB Weld and a and a discarded Red Bull can you know different things like that so that, that's kind of part of the excitement and the adventure because it really is um, it, it really is uh, an extreme um, situation You ready to cross the river, Ray? Absolutely. So we've got a our team leader has flooded his bike in the river. Nothing like psyching yourself up to cross, huh? <laughs> Especially the first guy. Uh... How deep is it, Eric? Over here, when he went, he hit that giant rock. Ah. And then his bike went down the rapids. Oh, it did? Yeah. Air filter's wet, so it might have sucked some water in, so we'll have to take the plug out and see if we can get it going. If we don't get it get going back way back in here, we're, we're only about 20 miles from the truck. Yeah. Long, long walk. So what happened was, he hit that rock right there and his bike put down the rapids. Ray and I are trying to find a better way here. I don't know man, I think I'd better take that. A lot of rocks in there. Video you going across? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we could. I'll, I'll throw it. you your phone. It's to go down. <laughs> so our friend Bigelow's got his bike upside down to drain the water out. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're laughing now until it's our <laughs> I turn. I know. I know. It's not very. It's not very fun. Oh! Did you hear it? Oh man! If that doesn't start, we're hosed. Here he comes. Is he going to make it? He's coming. Feel it. If you get the wheel right here, we'll just hold on to it. We got this stick here. would have put me in in fourth quarter. Go back in time, I'd take state. Of our trip? Nah. I think Eric thinks he's on a snow bike. That looks like fun. It just 
gets it gets deeper. <laughs> Jumps in and they all go straight oh, down there. Swift. Yep, Swift right. Reservoir, Northwoods. Wow. Yeah, you don't, I mean, there's nowhere else I've had this view with yeah. kind of this perspective. It's not, yeah. it's just amazing right there. Yeah. Time to do the Plains of Abraham. Yeah. Have you done Smith Canyon the last few years? Of course Glenn found it. <laughs> of course, of course he found it. And he's, he just suckered you into going yeah. with him. Yeah, no one would ever sign up for that. Right? <laughs> oh, let's ride all the way out to... <laughs> So that's about all I have today. Uh, I'll leave you with uh, Crazy Bigelow trying to fall off that uh, rotten log. <laughs> we had a great time, and uh, we haven't even scratched the surface of this area. It's just um, I I'm going to go up there, try to get up there at least one day a week if I can uh, uh, drag my buddies up there. But it is, uh, it's really something. I, I was telling Ray on the way home, I said, boy, if a guy ever starts feeling domesticated um, and lacks um, the thrill and thrill and adventure in their life, uh, get yourself a dirt bike and uh, head up here and it will, um, that'll make a man out of you for sure. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one.